You know it's not exactly a secret that Bethesda are a very secretive company. They like to keep things hidden for as long as they possibly can. Todd Howard has even stated in the past that he would like to wait just a few weeks between a game announcement and the game's actual release. This is all very important to note because I believe we have been somewhat misled about Starfield's main faction, Constellation. We know that Constellation are the quote unquote last group of space explorers, meaning that they're the last group of people that still go around exploring the galaxy just to explore, trying to find the secrets of the universe and such, whereas it seems that other groups have sort of just given up. Now we also know that Constellation have been looking for the artifacts, which we know will play a massive part in Starfield's overall main quest slash story. Unfortunately we still do not know exactly what they are or what they do. Some people expect they'll act as sort of like an Elder Scrolls from the Elder Scrolls universe where we touch them and they give us a sort of glimpse into the past if you will. This is because we have been told that these artifacts do give us a vision when we touch them. You dug up the artifact right? That means you saw it. The visions? Others believe that the artifacts will lead us to some kind of celestial life form, sort of like a god that created the universe, while others, including myself, believe that the artifact will lead to alien life while also answering the questions about space and time, such as how did the Big Bang actually happen, or how did life actually get created, and things like that. So what do Constellation actually want with these artifacts? Well, we'll discuss that in a moment, but first I want to go over what I think is their real mission, their true goal, if you will. I believe the Bethesda have actually taken inspiration from an old Skyrim mod, my favourite Skyrim mod as a matter of fact, Legacy of the Dragonborn. Legacy of the Dragonborn is one of the most popular and praised mods in the Skyrim modding community, and it has been for years, even more making its way over to the Xbox version of Skyrim via a port. For those of you who are unaware, the mod basically opens up a museum in Skyrim's capital city, Solitude, where you are hired to travel all across Skyrim and collect weapons, armour, books, paintings, and yes, even artefacts. See, I believe the Bethesda have been inspired by this and made Constellation relatively the same kind of faction. If we take a look at this concept art of Constellation, we can clearly see what appears to be a bunch of collectibles, if you will, such as swords, armour, pillars with items on top, obviously the massive library in itself, and a lot more, and in fact, if we take a closer look at the shots of Constellation in the showcase footage, we can see various display cases open. Now again, this might just be a weird design choice by Bethesda, or maybe they're open because we can actually display things in them. Maybe Constellation, much like Legacy of the Dragonborn, will send us across the game's map, aka the 1000 planets and 100 in-game solar systems, to collect various items which we can then display for Constellation. Maybe if we join the Crimson Fleet, we can even somewhat screw Constellation over and sell these rare items to the pirates for a fair price. I don't think it's that much of a stretch considering Bethesda love their Radiant Go Here Get That Come Back quest. And we already know that we will in fact be searching the galaxy for the artifacts, so what's stopping Bethesda from sending us to collect other various items? So it does appear to me anyway that Constellation like to collect things. I imagine over the years since they were first formed, they've managed to collect a lot of unique stuff and now they have their eyes set on the artifacts. But again, maybe after the main quest, we get sent on these Radiant quests. See, it's just really weird because the Starfield showcase makes out like you've found a long lost artifact that nobody has seen in years. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. But then when you go to Constellation, they said that there's a bunch of these artifacts scattered around the galaxy, but they still make it sound like nobody has seen them in years. The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. But then just shortly after this, it shows a clip of us actually meeting somebody who literally owns one and tells us that it was just sold to him like nothing. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. So again, like I said in the start of the video, it's all very weird and secretive, but I do believe that your main mission with Constellation, or your true goal, will be to go around the galaxy collecting things, a lot like Legacy of the Dragonborn, the Skyrim mod. I for one would be so down for this, because of how much I enjoyed that mod, but of course this is just a little speculation based on the evidence that we have. It's also really important to note that this wouldn't be the first time Bethesda have taken inspiration from a mod. I personally believe Fallout 4's companions were so much more in depth compared to Skyrim's companions. It was solely because Todd loved Inigo, a Skyrim follower mod. Like, I love the Khajiit uh, follower mod for Skyrim. It's awesome. Um, 
the uh, there have been quest lines. Those things just take a really, really long time. And so someone is going to do that. That's almost like it takes them a long time. It's more than a hobby. And we're always looking at ways that we can make it like, hey, they can turn a career into it. But why do Constellation actually want the artifacts? What is so special about them? Obviously, we can theorize for days and I have plenty of videos on the subject, so I don't want to go too deep into it here, but I do believe that the artifacts will take us to an ancient alien civilization. I first thought this when it was confirmed to us that Starfield has four main cities. I thought maybe the reason they only showed off three of them, that being Aquila City, New Atlantis, and Neon, obviously, was because the fourth city was being kept a secret because it was an alien city which we would find at the end of the main storyline in the game. However, while I'm still sticking to that theory, I'm thinking maybe we don't see an alien city now, since it has been confirmed to us by none other than Will Shen that there is a city on Mars called Sidonia, so that's obviously what the fourth city is. You'll go to Mars and there's actually a settlement, one of, one of the early settlements that humanity uh, created after they left Earth. Uh, it's called uh, Sidonia, and that's a whole city with its own problems and people in it. Although why Bethesda didn't confirm this right off the bat with all of the other main cities in Stormfield, I have no idea. It feels very weird to have kept this a secret for so long, just for Will Shen to drop it in a Constellation Questions video, but either way, Sidonia does sound real exciting. Personally, I would love this though. I think the idea of searching for unique weapons, maybe old books or spacesuits or relics of Earth, could not only be a fun gameplay choice, but also displaying these various items and giving us a fun excuse to explore all 1000 of these planets in the 100 solar systems is a really, really good idea, and I'd totally be down for it. Of course, this is all just speculation on my part. It's difficult to make videos with evidence nowadays because the Starfield news has been ridiculously dry for like two and a half months now, but we also to get news this week and hell we may even have it by the time this video goes live since i am recording on a thursday and the video will be posted on friday so fingers crossed i get news tonight i'm sure you guys in the future will be commenting below if we have any amount of news though but anyway that is going to do it for me today guys let me know what your theories are on this in the comments below please do drop the video a like for me and hey if you are new around here and you're looking for a place to stay up to date on almost daily starfield or other bethesda focused content i'm talking news leaks rumors speculations breakdowns and so much more then this is the place for you so consider subscribing because i cover it all over here we are also really hoping to hit 5,000 subscribers sometime soon so if you do subscribe i thank you all so much for your support but anyway with all of that said and done i thank you all so much much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next one.